Hey guys, welcome back to my another video of robot frameworks. So in this video, we are going to talk about the different sections of test case environment in robot frameworks. So in last video, I've just talked, I just have written a test case and there I mentioned different sections like setting variables, test cases and keywords. Now, while writing those sections, I said that I'll explain these sections in another video. So if you have not watched that video, then please go and watch that and then again, come back to this video. So you'll get a uh, proper understanding of the com concept. So here, when we write a test case, we come across different sections, like uh, one of the section is settings. Another section is uh, basically the variables. The next one is keywords. And the last one is test cases. So when you are writing a test script, robot frameworks, test scripts are test files with dot robot or dot txt extension. Now I mentioned that when we are creating a file, we use dot robot extension. Dot robot extension, just that's for robotic frameworks. Now this contains when you write a test script, you contains of four sections. The first one is settings, second one is variables, third one is test case, and then keywords. Now, all these sections means a lot. And this specifies something, and this makes our task easier, in fact. Now, how? Let's see. So the first section is a setting section. So in setting section, is used to import test libraries, resource files, and variable files, and to define metadata for test suits and test cases. So it can be included in test cases file and resource files. So usually you see the setting section is when you are trying to import something to your current project. Like there are certain files. If you talk about libraries, there are some libraries that's available and you want to use it in your current file. So there you will use, uh, you will put those inside the setting sections. Maybe you have created a script that you have written in some proper language. Uh, uh, maybe usually you write in Python language and then you want to run that script in your current test case. Now, because you have written the script separately and you want to run it in current test case, then in that case, you have to import that section. Now, if you are familiar with the coding thing, you know that this import plays an important role. It's something that's already defined and we are using it in our current scenario. So just to use it, we have to import it. So the import, whatever we do in form of import that goes inside the setting sections. Second ones are variables. Now, this is a similar terms for those who are from IT sector. They will know that they have done this before, like they have defined variables. Uh, usually, if I talk about Java in Java, you define variables where you store the values. Story here is same. It's the same is the story in robot frameworks. Variables are integral features of robot frameworks, and they can be used in most famous places in test data. In simple test terms, if we have values that are constantly constantly changing and are used multiple times in different test cases, create a variable helps. So in case if our value changes in future, we can just update the value in one place that will reflect in all the test cases. The best use case for using variables would be test data and locators. So basically when we are are writing a test case, we pass the values to those test cases. In fact, values like we pass the URL, we pass the browser name, we pass the username, the password. Now these values, what we can do? These values we can store inside a variable. So in robot frameworks, a section is mentioned as variables where you are free to write your variables. So as many as variables you want to create, just create it and store the values in it. Now, the best thing about using these variables is in future, if you want to change these values, then what you will do? Just go to that variable, change the value, and that value is updated. That's the story of variable, and this is how we used to do before. So the story is similar here as well. Now, this is how you see, this is the example. This is the setting sections where it's written, where we are import the library, Selenium library. So we are trying to import the library. In variable sections, we create a variable with a name, with the dollar sign, and we store, basically we are not using the equals to sign, but the values are stored in these variables as if. The URL is stored, the username is stored, the password. So if you want to store anything, you can store in the variable section. We will do this practically and you'll get a better idea of this. The next one is test cases. Now, basically the test cases is that section where we write our code. So running a test case with multiple data sets can be efficiently done using template keyword. Now, 
you will see that when you are running a test case, then in that case, you can set the template in keyword. And then through that template name, you can run that test cases. We'll see this structure. So this point somewhere I'll do when I'll do, I'll just mark it out. Now by defining a test case template, you can easily integrate to different data sets without duplicating test steps. So the main test case is composed of high level keywords like open browser, input username, input password, click login button and verify successful login. So basically these are the keywords that we use for writing a test cases. So you have seen before as well, uh, like now I've not talked much about the test cases. I'll be talking more about these test cases, how to write the test cases, what the keywords to use in the upcoming classes, but till the section, till which we have covered, you have seen that I've written the keywords like open browser. So this help us to open browser. Again, if you want to input the username, so you will write input text. So that will help us, that will be quite clear that you are trying to input the username. So these are few keywords that you will keep in mind when you are writing the test cases. So this section I'll discuss more in details in upcoming lectures. Right now, just you figure it out that this is a section where we write the test cases and test cases are written using these keywords. So open browser, input text, input text when you're trying to input the text, click elements when you are trying to click on some particular element and the last one, close browser, that's basically to close the browser. This is how we write the test cases. Now the last section and the most important section is the keywords. So keywords as a single test step, just as test is conceptually made up of many steps, a robot test is made up of many keywords. Now in test cases, instead of writing the steps, we will write the keywords. So keywords are the foundation upon which all the robot tests are built. These are generate keywords provided by robot and these are special purpose keyword that you can create yourself. So user defined keywords help us to group test cases under a single keyword. So instead of writing multiple lines again and again, we can just write the keyword once. This helps a lot when you have multiple test cases using the same test steps. It also helps in making the test case clutter free and more readable, avoiding writing repetition codes and also helps in code maintenance. Now this section, what I'm talking about, when you will see this in real time, you'll get a better idea that keyword makes things more easier. It's like I have some around 20 test cases. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write those 20 test cases separately. And for every test case, I'm going to make a keyword. Now, next time, if I want to use those test cases, then I'll not be writing the test cases again. Instead, straight away, I will use that keyword and that particular keyword will define the complete test case. I hope this point is quite clear what I'm talking about the keywords. If not, then let's see an example. So this is how the keyword looks like. You see, these are the keywords, basically begin web test. This is a keyword search for product. This is a keyword. So when you want to begin a web test, just you write this keyword, begin a web test, so it will open the browser. If you want to search some product, then again, use this keyword, search for product. As it see in this section, in test section, it's mentioned, begin web test, search for products. So basically when you write these keywords, which you have given your own names, this will perform the test steps written inside it. Now let's apply this in real time thing. So here I'm just trying, now this I've taken, uh, this is a basically, uh, official website, ITLearn 360, the one that we are using for e-learning purpose. So we'll apply this code on this website. So here I'm going to write few test cases like open the browser, maximize the screen. Next one is implicit weight that I have applied, which I'll not talk about right now. Just it's a part of test case. I'll have a separate lecture for that implicit weight. So just I'm telling you because I'm going to write that in my test case. Next is I will click on this item that is login. This page will open. You will enter the username here. You will enter the password here and then click the login button. That's my test case. So this is my test case and this is the test case I have to go for. Now I'm, I have written the test case for this. Now you see here I have written the test case. First I have written open browser where I passed the website link. Yesterday I was taking some other example. Today I'm taking a different one because I wanted to add few more steps. When I was opening the Amazon website, in fact, the problem with the Chrome is that they are not allowing to open the Amazon website before it used to, but now because of security conditions, it's not allowing. So I thought of taking some other, uh, like taking a different example. So I've taken a, this one. 
Now here I have first opened the Chrome. Then I am maximizing my window. After that, this implicit weight for the timing, just take it as I have applied a hold if required to for proper execution of code. That's what you can take for this section. Now this section here, I have to click element. So I've used the keyword click element. I'll talk about these keywords separately, input text and all. When we use this, at which time we use which keyword, we'll talk about. So right now I'm trying to perform click. So I've used the element, a click element, and I have passed these details for to click that element. Second one is where I'm trying to input the text. That's the username. Third one is again, I'm trying to input the text. That's the password. And the last one is I'm trying to click the login button. So just if you want to see this thing is working fine or not. So what I'm going to do is I'll just run it. All right, you know how to run it, right? The robot keyword after that name of the folder, my folder name is automation. And inside this in test.robot, this particular line of code is written. So sorry, let me do enter. So this opens a demo ID 360 website. Maximize, enter the username and login. So this is a proper test case that I have written. Now I have to make it as e-learning website instead of Amazon website. I just did the changes in the last code itself. Cool. That's fine. Till here it's good. Now what's the work of these variables and these keywords? Now why I have taken this example because for proper understanding of variables and keywords. Later, I'll come back to test cases. So that, that time we will discuss more in details about the test cases, so don't worry about it. Now let's talk about the variables. Now you see these values like website link, the username, the password, again, the time limit, what you have passed. These informations will keep changing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create variable for this. So first one, I'll create variable for URL and inside URL, I will pass this value. That is this. Now, next one, I'm going to mention the browser name. So I'll write browser. And here I'll mention the browser name is Chrome. Next information, it's type. Oh, let's make it. This will start with dollar sign. Again, dollar, that is time. And in time, 10 second. Next comes again, the dollar sign. Next comes as username. So what's my username? The username is demo12. Again, the dollar sign. Next one. Password. What's my password name? Test one, two, three, four, five, six dollar. So now these informations, instead of passing these informations manually, now I'm going to pass based on this names are based on the variables that I have defined. Now here in place of time, copy time is here. Place of username. Copy, the username is here. In place of password, copy, and the password is here. So this is how we create username, password. This is how we create variables. Now, next time, if I want to change any of these values, I'll just straight away come and change it here. So I don't need to go to my test cases and look every places where I have to change it manually. Come to the variables, change the values here, and the same thing will be, the changes will be implemented there. Now let me run this code again and see if these variables are working or not. So the website passed, the link passed. So that means variable is working because this will link was feeded in URL. Now after this, it maximized the values are passed and we are logged in. So the variable section is working. So this is how the variable works. Now comes the keyword section. Now this one is very interesting. In keyword, I'll just write IT Learn 360 login code. And the same test case that I have written here, I'll cut it from here and paste it here. Don't get panic, it's very simple. 
just have given a keyword name as IT Learn 360 login code. And the steps that I wrote it here, I just cut it from there and paste inside this keyword. Now, in next line, I will just write this keyword. Done. Just write this keyword, IT Learn login code. And when you write this keyword, now based on this keyword, the test case will execute. See? So what I said, now next time, if you need this login code or this login process, so you don't need to write the test case again. Next time, just write that keyword, IT Learn 360 login code. Just write this keyword and that particular step will operate. Now below this, if you're writing any other test cases, just again, create a new keyword like search code. So create a new keyword, write the details, whatever is required. So first, this part will execute. Second, the search code will execute. Say, keep on adding as many as keywords you want. So in keywords, all the steps will be there. And in test cases, you'll be writing the keywords one by one. So that will help you to run the test cases. So that's the beauty of keywords, test cases, variables, and settings. So I hope all these sections are quite clear and easy to understand. Now, these are basic things you have to understand because in future we are going to use it at bigger level. So right now things are very easy. So I'm keeping it very simple and I'm using the simplest way to define this. So follow this and understand this structure. Then we will do more things to, we'll do a complete project, then you'll get more familiar too. Now the basic things should be clear. Now in next lecture, I'll talk about this IDs and all. If you are new to this section, I'll talk what these IDs names and all are and how we are getting these values, I'll talk all about. So I have not explained this section yet, but I'll come to this section later before I'll explain you the concepts related to it. And then again, I will pick the same example. So it will be easy. Right now, just the focus was to understand these four sections these four structures of the of this particular environment. This we'll be using out throughout in all test cases. So I hope all these sections are clear and this example is also clear. See you in next video with another topic. Till then, bye-bye and thank you.